I tried so hard mm. to live right, really hard. Mm. I've I've done more than you can imagine of trying to make sure I always did right, and uh, it seemed like sometimes the harder I tried to do right, mm. the harder I failed. Right. Because it's like telling yourself not to eat chocolate cake. I ain't gonna eat the cake. I ain't gonna eat the cake. I ain't gonna eat the cake. And then suddenly. Not only did you have a little cake, you ate the whole dad gum thing, you know. You ate the whole so, thing. Yeah. So, so, it was like that in my life, and I'm just being real about that. I, I know some people will get uncomfortable with being so real about our own personal struggles, but man, I think we ought to just shoot straight yeah. and just say that that we struggle with stuff. And yeah. and so I would try, man, and I would fast, and I would pray, and I would think if I'd pray more, if I'd mm. fast longer, if I'd do this, if I'd do that. Uh, I could somehow work myself into a better person until, praise God, one day I learned about grace. And here's what's so cool about God's grace in your mm -hmm. life is that when you walk by grace and you walk by faith, he does good things mm -hmm. through you that will even catch you off guard. Yeah. If you are doing, 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 trying to earn, um, trying to earn God's favor and acceptance and you're trying to do this. Um, the doing produces fruit of the flesh because yeah, right. you're, do you're doing it in your power. So the fruit that you're producing is, <laughs> is, you know, strife, it's worry, it's, it's the anxiety, it's the feeling of guilt and shame. And it produces these kinds of fruits. But if you are surrendered to the grace of God, the pr the fruit that is produced is produced by him because it's not him. it's not you doing it so <laughs> so you're surprised by the fact that you're loving you're surprised by the fact that you have joy and suffering you're surprised by the fact of all these things and it's not it the reason is because you're not producing that right the fruit and you is can, grace and you fruit can grace. It'll show up when it shouldn't like right you shouldn't even be happy with what's going on. I mean, mm -hmm. you've got so much going on in your life. You, the, the world thinks you should just be completely without hope yeah. because, man, things are just rough for you. And there you are experiencing the joy of the Holy Ghost yeah. in the middle of some of the most adverse situations because it is just the work of the Spirit in us. To me, it is Jesus I will make you to become. It's yeah. Him working in us. You follow me and I I will do the building. I will do the making. I will do the development. Mm -hmm. You're not going to develop. And see, I had this mindset for so many years. My development depended on me, man. It mm -hmm. depended on, and not that I don't have to participate, you know, not that there's not obedience and there's not uh, me, you know, participating with the work of the Lord in our life. And there's right. yielding and surrendering. And to me, that's really what faith is. It's really surrender. Mm -hmm. trust it's just surrendering to the lord but right. but but it's not because i prayed enough it's mm -hmm. not because i studied hard enough it's not because if i could somehow put in enough time god would have no choice but to anoint me and do powerful mm -hmm. things through my ministry you know right. it, and then i begin to re that's not you're not growing at all if you're going to become a fisher of men it will have to be because I will make you to mm -hmm. become.